Hey everyone, welcome to this Unity 3D tutorial on how to import animations. In this in this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to take animations that you've made inside external 3D modeling programs such as Blender, uh, Maya 3D Studio Max, or any other program. I'm going to explain how to bring in those animations into Unity. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Blender, and I'm going to be using this model right here. The character is uh, Neptune from Hyperdimension Neptunia. So I've already animated it. So I have three animations. I have a left hand wave animation, a right hand wave animation, and a walking animation. So this is my right hand animation right here. This is my left hand wave animation. And last but not least, I have my walking animation. So the first thing we want to do is we want to we want to go to our timeline down here and we want to set our start frame to zero we want to set our end frame to something greater than the last frame that we use so in my case the last frame that I use it's not 45 it's going to be the last frame I use out of all my animations so the last frame I used was on my right hand animation and in my case it's 110 so I want to set my end frame here on my timeline to something greater than 110 so I'll just set mine to 150 that way when we import this uh, file into Unity, Unity will know that we have at least 150 frames of data. If I were to set the end to 80, Unity would not see anything past 80, and therefore it wouldn't see my right hand animation. So I will save that. And now we can bring it into Unity, so I'll go back to Unity. I have this default scene right here. So there's multiple ways to import an asset. We can go to assets and import new asset and locate the file to uh, import the asset. Alternatively, we could also just drag in the file. So this is a, this is this file right here is this Blender file right here. So I'm just going to drag it over. I also want to make sure I have the textures uh, folder selected. So I'm going to shift. We'll control click both folder, uh, both files, well, the folder and the file. Inside Unity, I'm going to create a new folder for this asset. I'm going to go to create new folder. And I'll call this Neptune Animation. And now I'm just going to drag these two directly into this folder, and then Unity will import the asset. Well, in this case, assets, because we're importing the model and the textures. So once Unity is done, get to controlling the animation. OK, so if you expand your folder and I click on the model, I'll see the model right here. So the first thing we want to do, you want to select this model, you want to go to rig right here you want to set the animation type to legacy and then press apply okay once that's done go to animations go to the animations button and then scroll down and you'll see this section called clips and you'll notice the different animations right here. Default take corresponds to the entire timeline. In my timeline, I have 150 frames of data. Uh, I'm pretty sure Blender's just always off by one frame. So these are right. I think Unity's just, well, Unity's off by one. Um, everything should still play the same. So um, default take, that corresponds to the entire timeline. I don't really need that because that's not actually an animation. So I can just press the minus sign to remove that. So I'm just left with these three animations, which correspond to my three animations right here. And so I can see the, uh, the frame data is correct. It is off by one, but I guess that's just how Blender and Unity uh, works. If you needed to add a new animation, you would just press the plus sign, then you could change the name. But in this case, I already have my three animations right here, so I'm not going to need this new animation, so I'll get rid of that. And I'm just going to work with left hand wave, right hand wave, and walk. 
So all of these animations uh, I want to loop. So what you can do is you can set the wrap mode right here. They're always set to default by default. So my left hand wave I want to loop. You also have options for once, loop, ping pong, clamp forever, but I just want mine to loop. I'll press apply. Then I'll do the same thing for right hand wave and walk. So I'll go to right hand wave, set my wrap mode to loop. That way if we ever tell you you need to play this animation, it will always loop it. Until we stop the loop. Okay, so now I'll go to walk and change the wrap mode to loop as well. Okay, so now that I have all those done, I can, I'm can. i now ready to drop my character into my scene and start animating it. So, I'm going to take this file right here. In fact, if you wanted to test it, um, you could just drag in your folder into the preview window right here. You could select your animation, and you can press the play button, and it'll actually play it inside Unity. So I go to my right hand wave, and I can go to walk. This is purely just for uh, testing to see how your animations look. So I'll pause that. So now I'm ready to go ahead and drop Neptune into my scene here. So I'm just going to drag this folder file into my scene. So I'm going to create this. I'm going to make it a little bigger. I'll change your scale. And you'll see this animation component right here. This first animation you see right here, in my case, left hand wave, this is the default animation that it will play first. Right now it's set to play automatically, so if I press play, it will play this animation first, in my case, left hand wave. You also see the list of animations associated with this file, so in my case, left hand wave, right hand wave, and walk. So it's set to play automatically, and it will play this animation by default, so if I press play, it will play the left hand wave animation. And you can see here we're doing the left hand wave animation. So if I wanted to change the default animation, I could just click this circle right here. And let's say I wanted to change it to walk. I have like a million walks, but this this is the one I'm looking for because I can look at the, the path right here. So now when I press play, instead of doing the left hand wave animation, she'll do the walk animation. And she's not moving forward because I haven't coded it, so. So let's say we wanted to uh, play the animations via scripting. Let's say we don't want to play animations automatically. We want to do it by scripting. So let's go ahead and create a script. I have my scripts folder here. I'll right click. I'll go to create C sharp, C sharp script. You can also do JavaScript, of course. And I'll name this Neptune Control. And I'm going to drag this folder onto my model. You want to make sure it's on the parent. You can see it right there. So now I'm going to edit it. So I'm going to double click it to open it up, open it up inside model develop. And hopefully model develop doesn't take years to open. So Still waiting for mono develop. Okay, here's mono develop. It's loading, 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 loading. So I'm just going to set up some basic uh, input tests to uh, play each animation. 
So here's my very basic script. I'm going to go inside my update. Uh, you don't have to control your animations in this same fashion. You can do it uh, whichever way uh, you see fit. But just to test this out, I can say if input dot get key down uh, t. I'll say animation dot play. Animation corresponds to the animation component on this uh, game object. I'll say animation dot play, and inside the uh, inside the parentheses. I want to pass in the name of the animation. So for T, I'll say left hand wave. This name right here corresponds to these names right here. So I have left hand wave, right hand wave, and walk. You want to make sure that you type it in uh, in the exact same way you see it right here on your clips section. So I have left hand wave. I'll do another one for if input dot get key down y so if the player presses the y key we'll play the right hand animation and I'll, I will also do one for the walking animation input dot get key down u and I'll say animation dot play Okay. So, just to recap, I don't have play automatically selected. So when I press play, she will still be in this T pose. But when I press the T key, I'll play the left hand wave mode animation. When I press the Y key, I'll play the right hand wave animation animation. And when I press the U key, she'll switch over to the walk animation. So let me test this out. I'll press the play button. Let me maximize my screen so I can see it in the first person view. Okay, so she's in the uh, T pose because we're not playing the animations uh, automatically. So I'll press the T key and she'll switch over to the left hand animation. I'll press the Y key and she'll go over to the right hand animation. And if I press the U key, she'll switch over to the walking animation. So pretty simple stuff. So that's how to um, import animations into Unity 3D if you're interested in how to mix animations. So for instance, uh, mixing the walking animation with one of the hand waving animations. Uh, I will be uploading a video about uh, on how to do that soon, but it's, it's very easy. So thanks for watching and that's how to, that's how to import animations into Unity 3D.